Hi, welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. In this video, we precisely want to focus on Flutter, UI software development kit created by Google. There is a lot of controversial information, so we in Jelvix decided to share our own experience. Before we start, subscribe to our channel for more videos about popular tools and software development. Let's go! So what is Flutter? Basically, Flutter is a software development kit used to develop a native user interface for Android and iOS. The main selling point of Flutter is its simplicity. The platform offers an intuitive interface, a library of elements and instruments, and a lot of templates. To develop with Flutter, you will use a programming language called Dart. Its syntax is similar to JavaScript. The structure of Flutter is broken down into three layers. Framework, handling app widgets, gestures, animation, illustrations, Flutter Engine, responsible for text display, and Embedder, for managing plugins, packages, etc. Wondering how it compares to other similar SDKs? First of all, Flutter doesn't use JavaScript. There is no need to add native components. Flutter uses declarative programming, similar to React Native. The code weighs less and is faster to write. By the way, you can check out our comparison of React Native and React if you follow the link in the description box. Look at this picture now to see how Flutter works. In Flutter, UI are represented as widgets. Widgets are rendered onto a canvas and sent to the platform. The platform displays the canvas and sends events back to the app. Flutter renders every view's components using its own engine. Mobile applications use native device APIs to coordinate GPS data, get access to contacts and messages, work with a camera, recorder, Bluetooth, and others. What is Dart? Dart is a language designed specifically for UI development by Google. The language is based on three key principles. UI specific. Dart was created with user interface development in mind, which is why it removes many unnecessary details from the syntax. Hot reload developers can instantly see the results of their work. Multi-platform compliance. Based on Jelvik's project's experience, we can name three main reasons to consider Flutter for mobile development. One, fast mobile UI. Flutter supports hot reload, a feature that allows developers to update their code in real time and see the results right away. Two, it's perfect for MVP development. We often advise startups to choose Flutter. Why? Flutter allows building native interfaces without preparing two apps. Even a single developer can assemble a simple interface. The app looks and feels native. Personalization as Flutter lets teams build unique designs. 3. Flexibility and scalability. All elements have a clear hierarchical structure. Considering Jelvik's experience, we know that as projects grow, developers can still keep track of the interface elements easily. And what about challenges of working with Flutter? 1. Different from typical UI development experience. Dart is inspired by JavaScript, which definitely makes the learning easier, but it's still a new language. Share your thoughts, whether it is better to stick with a language you already know, or try new but risky solutions. 2. Performance drops. If you are building a complex interface with platform views, the performance will drop instantly. Three rewriting instant state. If the app's activity stops, Flutter doesn't conserve the data for it anymore. This is why most Flutter apps are one screen. 4. Long run executions. If the app has to be closed, everything has to be restarted again. Blocking activities on a regular basis is a recipe for terrible user experience. 5. Random crashes. Most technical issues arise when an application needs to connect to native API or run complex processes. Six, built-in widgets are not so ready to use. Even the most common Flutter widgets require customization. It's often easier to write code from scratch for more advanced functionality rather than use a built-in generic version. All in all, we think the concept of Flutter is great. You can build apps both for iOS and Android while getting a fully native performance. Obviously, Flutter isn't perfect for every project. We don't recommend using it for highly detailed interface or for handling complex operations. Hit that like button if this video was useful. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. 
We provide software development, UI UX design, and testing services to companies worldwide. Find our contact information in the description box. We are preparing a video on our experience and comparison of JavaScript versus TypeScript. Interested why TypeScript may be game-changing? Make sure you subscribe not to miss it.